<laughs> the Maverick there pick out him here. <laughs> I'm here to suffer some post World Cup <laughs> trauma symptoms, you know. <laughs> yeah, people, the World Cup is done and dusted. Qatar 2022 was the bomb. Best World Cup ever. That World Cup final between France and Argentina. Best World Cup final ever. Who won this beauty go beat your head against the black? <laughs> against the wall? Yeah, man. Best World Cup ever. Best World Cup final ever. Um, Look here. You know what? This spectacle of this World Cup now. Why it reigniting on my brain now. You remember this discussion that was had in you know, the past couple of months, really? About past couple of years probably about comparing the football leagues, Champions League and the EPL and the La Liga and all of them, comparing them to the Champions League. League football generally versus the World Cup. That we are talking about. <laughs> See? That comparison, that crazy comparison. May I wonder if the way the World Cup in Qatar captured the world and captured the imagination and attention of everybody. And the passion and the pride and the tenacity and the, 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 the desire with all of the players this display in this World Cup. Yeah. May I wonder if that discussion will continue and we can put that to rest now. Because eh? since this World Cup seems to be a World Cup, we have put issues to rest. You know, First of all, it put the issue to rest as to whether or not Qatar could adequately and effectively host a World Cup. That was put to rest. It also put to rest, um, I think, to a certain extent, the greatness of Diego, not Diego, Lionel Messi. <laughs> How great Lionel Messi is. Lionel Messi, it put to rest the notion that Lionel Messi can or cannot actually perform at the World Cup level to his optimum. Yeah? And now me think it also put to rest the notion that club football can be compared to World Cup football. There are some intangibles in other equation where we have to consider that as well, you know. Club football, league football is played every year. Nine months a year you play league football. You play 30 odd games in your league and you play another, another 10, 15 games in a Champions League and Europe and, all, and knockout competitions and all them. So, so, when you lose a match Sunday, you have a next match Wednesday, you know. So you can make up back for any defeat because you can it's a league format, you're accumulating points, so there's not much pressure on you losing the odd game. Unless you're in a tight, tight race where you know it's a is a ding dong battle and you can't afford to drop points. Which which is not the norm generally. Generally, in a league season, teams can afford to lose the odd match and draw the odd match and then come back. In a World Cup, you know. Your margin for error. You see, after you pass a first round there. Eh? Your margin for error is zero, you know. Your margin for losing is zero, you know. You cannot, if you lose, you're gone home, you know. Now, with that kind of pressure, the spectacle, as a, as a, as a spectacle, spectators watching the best players in the world, I execute another kind of pressure there, you know. Nothing, there's nothing in the world of football, nothing in the world of sport that can be compared to that. So it's when a player go through all of that and prevails and lift that trophy and win him individual prize, those are much bigger and prestigious and valued performances and accolades. Now, any league title, your man can go win the next year. You lose it this year, you just go win it by the next year. You lose a game this week, you just go win it back three days' time. Joke thing, the World Cup is always the biggest stage of football and remains so. And this World Cup in Qatar, yeah, kind of put that argument to rest about the comparison between the World Cup finals and league football. Joke. The only little mini point that the mini concession would have make to the Champions League and just the Champions League, you know, the fact that the Champions League have some teams that are super teams. These rich clubs go out and buy these top players, PSG and Chelsea and Man City. And, you know, them, them go out and buy these big players. So you have these big players from all over the world, super talented players from all over the world. The best coaches, you slot them in, you pay them big money and you slot them in. So you could argue that potentially you see better standard football in the Champions League. 
But talk the truth. When you watch the World Cup, you see any distinct inferiority in the quality of the World Cup than what you see in the Champions League. Me not see that. Me not see that. The kind of brilliance we witnessed in a, this World Cup here in a Qatar, I don't see any superior quality in terms of technical quality and execution of football in a, the Champions League than we miss in a, this World Cup here in Qatar. So the argument they did. But you know, say, all of that it come about, you know, for try and devalue the World Cup. You know why? Because Messi never win it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that now the fact that Messi win it now, people are going to come down after that fool. Hey, me tell you this, you know, people. Messi makes some people talk some foolishness in a sports analysis, you know. Messi is the man who make people start say, World Cup football are foolishness, you know. Messi is the man who make people start say, winning in a team sports don't contribute to the greatness of an individual player, you know. In our team sport, you know. <laughs> Messi is the man make people start disrespect and discredit. Not just Pele, you know. But also Diego Maradona, you know. Where people seek to just kind of just, you know, find a way to devalue and disrespect the work of the man, them, with, with the man them, these, these pioneers doing the game of football, you know. A man like Pele, you know. Is Messi make people talk them foolish, you know? And Messi's inability, you know, well, previous, then inability for win the World Cup, you know? Is Messi make people rational, otherwise rational people come up with them thoughts, you know? For trying to elevate, elevate Messi above the people who played before him and the people who had some accolades where Messi never have. So instead of being critical of Messi or urging Messi or encouraging Messi for trying to win these titles, what the Messi fanatic base decided to do is to tear down. It's, it's kind of like politics, you know. It's kind of like politics. One party in a power and the opposition won't get in. His thing is not to build up anything, you know, or to posit some better policies, you know. Same thing of a tear down what the party in a power do so that people can vote for him to put him in a power. So that strategy there, we call it the tribal reasoning in the sports. Remember, it's a new term I come up with. We want to wipe it out of sports, uh, sports debate come 2023. The tribal way we raise the sports. So it's part of the tribalism in the way we raise the sport. Why the messy fans now, you know, come up with all of them fools inside of the try and tear down Pele and tear down Maradona and elevate Messi. Well, know that Messi win the World Cup. We can't stop the foolishness now. And just argue rationally and analyze the sport for what it is. <laughs> well, the man them say, Pele play in a farmer's league. <laughs> because Pele have a goal and game over in career. Yeah. But them no mention so when Pele play around Europe, you know, beat up the best of Europe, you know. <laughs> anyway, people, and as I say, one of the casualties of Messi winning this World Cup is that people now will realize the fallacy in the argument that league football and EPL and Champions League and La League and Serie A can be compared to the World Cup. It's a different format. It's a different product. Different dynamics totally. And the World Cup is what it is. Football, same way. But a separate product and a separate spectacle from the day-to-day -day league football. Right now, me have, me have struggle right now. If you go get my mind in tune again, if you go watch back some, some league football, some EPL and some Champions League and some La Liga football. Because the spectacle of the World Cup was just so mind-blowing. It blew my mind. Especially this World Cup of Qatar. Anyway, people, we can call the World Cup and they put to rest World Cup. I put a lot of things to rest. <laughs> anyway, what do you think about what we think? Eh? You still think there's a comparison to be made between club football and World Cup football? Eh? You saw that coming out in the attitude and the efforts of the players in this World Cup. Yeah? Eh? Missy Man around one fumes, you know. Missy Man pull up Lee, Missy Neymar, Uncle Big, so. And a couple of days time, Missy Neymar run out and run up and down like a spring chicken, you know. Missy Lionel Messi at 35, you know. I run like a young boy, you know. A miss Miss Messi a clear ball off a line and a buck out ball for corner. You ever see Messi do them something in a league football yet? <laughs> Tell me.
me what you think. 